Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast. For this January 26th, be careful. There could be a few icy spots out there this morning. We've had a, a cold front pass through the area just within the last hour or two. And it's now a little southeast of Bowling Green. And the colder winds out of the west and northwest this morning, making it feel even colder as temperatures fall around the freezing mark. And another concern is that we've had rain overnight. And this morning, a little bit of patchy drizzle, maybe even a patchy, uh, some pa- patchy freezing drizzle and maybe even some snow flurries this morning. Uh, that could cause some icy spots in a few areas. So be careful. That's a high impact low precipitation situation i posted that yesterday and somebody said what is a low precip high impact situation well think about it if i say low precip that means very little moisture if i say high impact then that means despite the fact that it's very little moisture uh, you could um, end up in a car accident because of a slick highway And somebody said, well, why didn't you just say that? Okay. I was trying to, you know, I wasn't trying to fancy it up or anything. I was just trying to, you know, I don't know. Good gracious. Anymore, people complain about anything. Complain about the snow the other day. Oh, you guys missed that one really big. You guys are just a bunch of liars and you just go, oh, I don't know. I didn't know what to do. And I all that snow and it was just carrying on. And it, it wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know what to do. And by Saturday afternoon, it was gone. I said it would be. Whatever fell would be gone. I mean, good granny grunt. But anyway, I know you got your complainers out there and they're just all over the place. They're never happy about anything. You know, and the key I said was to be prepared. I think that's the key that we always preach around here is no matter how much precipitation falls, there's always going to be some kind of impact on you. And therefore, you need to be prepared for just in case. And frankly, Friday and Friday night into Saturday was one of those cases where uh, it was... Um, you know, in some cases, it set up very high um, snowfall totals, and uh, it turned out to be a high-impact situation as well. But it was only in a few areas to the west and north of Bowling Green. But, I mean, if you want to say we missed the forecast, okay, but still, were you prepared? Well, not for that. Well, but but the the key is to be prepared for that because we might miss it and the weather is not in our control and so you just need to be prepared for well it could come a little bit more than what they're saying or it could come a little less i mean what's the harm in just preparing that's what i'm trying to get you to focus on don't focus on well how many inches of snow are we going to be out of school i'm not going to answer those questions because it's ludicrous to try to answer those questions because we don't know. It's only a guess. That's why it's called a forecast. Do I, do I really have to explain this again? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move forward before I have a hissy fit here and somebody complains about that. 49 was our high temperature yesterday in Bowling Green. That happened at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 46 the average. That's a 3-degree difference. 34 was our low temperature, 26 the average, that's an 8 degree difference. And one year ago, we had a high of 45 and a low of 24 back in 2014. And at the uh, Bowling Green Airport, we picked up 17 hundredths of an inch of rain. So now, for the month of January, we're looking at 1.77 inches of precipitation. That puts us at a little bit over an inch below normal for the 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 month and the year of 2015 as this disturbance passes us today cloudy breezy colder some leftover light rain or flurries this morning maybe even some patchy freezing drizzle as temperatures are now below freezing we're going to say 37 will be our high temperature today that actually happened just after midnight 
And if we maybe squeeze out a little bit of sun later, we could get back to that today. The winds will begin to die down, though, as we get into the afternoon. Another disturbance, though, comes in late tonight, early Tuesday morning, with a chance of snow showers and a low of 31. Right now, it looks to be light accumulation, you know, a trace to a dusting, maybe. But again, prepare for anything, because it could be, like the other day, Snowmageddon. 2015. Dun, dun. Just prepare and you'll be fine, okay? For whatever happens. I say that all the time, but nobody listens to me. <sighs> Tuesday, some early morning snow showers. There could be some icy roads. Yes, there could be high impact with low precipitation. This is exactly what I mean. Very little precipitation but a high impact if the roads are icy. That's a big deal. That's going to be a greater issue for you than how much snow we got. A high of 40 as skies become partly sunny Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday, partly sunny, 43. We warm it all the way to 52 for Thursday. But then another disturbance comes in with a chance of rain at first. And then it could end as a brief period of snow Thursday night into early Friday. Friday, partly sunny, cooler, 42. Saturday and Sunday, well, Saturday, the last day of January, we'll see uh, light rain, 43, ending or mixing with a uh, little winter mix, maybe Saturday night, early Sunday, which is the first day of February, and we'll see a high of 40. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless you as always. I love you guys in the podcast audience because you get it. You understand my frustrations. Only you. You're the only ones that I get to dump on. (laughs) You feel special, don't you? I'm sorry. No, I really shouldn't, but sometimes it just gets so daggum frustrating. People just will not listen, but that's the case with anything, I know. But anyway... You guys listen, and I'm so appreciative and so grateful and thankful for you. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day, and I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com.